This episode is made possible by Target and Adventure Academy. Hey, we're here in North America, up north in the Boreal Forest, where winter comes early. It's us, the Krat Brothers. I'm Martin. I'm Chris. And with the holidays fast approaching, we thought we'd check out some Christmas creatures. Yeah, those animals that are a part of the holiday season and a lot of winter fun. Of course, we've got to start out with reindeer. No, not that kind, real reindeer. There are a lot of deer, but not all deer are reindeer. And Christmas shows and decorations are always getting it wrong. Sometimes people pretend that white-tailed deer are reindeer. But white-tailed deer are white-tailed deer. And they're a type of deer that lives all over North America, in the north, in the south, in the snow, and in the desert. White-tailed deer are not reindeer, but they're definitely a part of Christmas. Now here's an animal that's sometimes used to pretend to be a reindeer, caribou. Yeah, I know a few classics that have subbed in caribou as reindeer. Even though they're closely related, they're not reindeer. But hey, they're a Christmas creature too. And if you take a close look, you can really tell the difference between a caribou and a reindeer. Reindeer are found in Scandinavia and Russia and have shorter bodies than caribou. They were used to pull sleighs and now they're part of holiday traditions around the world. And speaking of holiday traditions, maybe we can start a new one. You thinking what I'm thinking? I think we're thinking the same thing. Imagine if we could have a wild Kratz creature Christmas party. What if? Christmas. <laughs> hey, Frosty! Wait up! Where are you going? <laughs> Every so often, even when you love doing something so much, it is a good idea to take a break now and then. And that's how it was with the Wild Kratz, each and every holiday season. <sighs> Christmas time is a time to rest and relax. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> and make sure to spend fun time with family and friends. It was time to get ready for some holiday fun. And that's what the Wild Kratts were going to do. Ah, it's getting close to the Christmas party. Time to decorate the tree! Whoa! What? Don't break ah. the ornaments! Whoa! Oh. Okay, how do you want to do this? We've got lots of ornaments. And this is a big tree. We need a plan. A pine, Martin. Ooh. Martin, stay focused. I am on a pine, Martin. Chasing a red squirrel. Oh, look at those two tree climbing specialists go. <laughs> ah, yeah, and they specialize in racing through coniferous trees. Climb, guys, climb. Hey, you thinking what I'm thinking, bro? Oh, yeah. I think I'm thinking the same thing. 
Of course. Sometimes the things you love the most can be very hard to take a break from. Red Squirrel Power! Where is it? Aha! Pine Martin Power! Hey, Martin! <laughs> Activate, Activate creature power! suit and help Martin and Chris. What? I don't activate creature power suits. You did once in the great creature race. Cookie, you just put a cover on your screen. Relax. Have some fun. Activate a creature power. It's Christmas. <sighs> oh, okay. I'll give it a try. Activate Blue Jay power. You look awesome. Koki, you're going to be able to fly. Keep going, Koki. Flap harder. I'm getting it. Whoa. Okay, that's the last ornament. Yay! Now, we just got the lights. Gah! I'm right behind you, bros. Thanks, Thanks Cody. Cody. Yeah! We're doing it! Keep flapping! Oh -ho! We, we did, did it! it! Preparing for a special holiday with special people, your closest family and friends, can often be the most fun. Indeed, the very best part of the holidays. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can we open presents now? Yeah, present time! After Christmas cookies and hot cocoa. Yum. Whoa, the Christmas cookies are all different species. Mmm. Okay, now is it time to open presents? Yes! Everybody has to open mine first. I invented them all. Whoa. A special invention for each of you. What is it? Here you go, Chris. Ooh. Thanks. <laughs> My turn. Merry Christmas, Martin. Huh? Uh, thanks, Aviva, but it's really small. I know! <laughs> okay, everyone! What are you waiting for? Open them! One of the few things that could ever interrupt present opening... The, the Wild Crash alarm. alarm! What is it? Come on! <gasps> Somewhere out...
out there in the creature world, something was wrong. Guys, help! It's Danita. She's pose beaming all the baby animals and taking them away. She's got Stuffo! And lost and found! <gasps> and Blue Goggle, too! What? It's almost Christmas, and still in Baby Animals is definitely not in the Christmas spirit. We're supposed to be hearing jingle bells today, not Wildcrats alarms. A second alarm? Gormon just appeared with a truckload of animals from mainland Africa. Thornsley, Hipster, Nubs, Spotswat. <laughs> You're coming with me. And he's taking Gold Puff too. <laughs> Another one? Mash that bite! Mash! Help! Zark's pretending he's an evil Santa or something. <laughs> Zark Nab Slider! And he took Buddy and Twig! And Little Howler and Dandelion! And Lightning and Fluff! <laughs> and he's taking them away! It's like they're capturing all the baby animals we've ever met, that I've ever named. Oh, why in the creature world are the villains doing this? Don't lose any of those little fuzzies. Each one will be placed into this and posed in, making the most glorious Christmas ornaments I've ever seen. <laughs> Donita's decorations will hang upon my gigantic robot Christmas tree. It will be metallic and excellent, and it will stand in the square of Barbatech Village. It will be the biggest shopping tree in the world, luring all those shoppers out in a last-minute buying frenzy. When they see that tree with all the little baby animal ornaments, children will be happy. Mothers will be mesmerized. They'll ooh, they'll ah, and then they'll smell my Christmas cookies. Ah, no one can resist that. People will buy dozens of cookies and dozens of cookies and dozens more. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll see my robot toys and snap them up. <laughs> and everyone will open their wallets for my irresistible holiday pajamas. We'll sell them anything and everything. <laughs> I'll be rich! <laughs> Zach, Danita, and Gourmand had often caused problems in the creature world. But never had they come together on such a horrible scheme. <laughs> we can't have our Christmas party yet. Aww. We just have to save our animal friends. Absolutamente. Especially at this time of year, we must put others first. Even if it means not having a Christmas party at all this year. Huh? What? No Christmas presents. This is a massive scheme involving all the villains and every baby animal we've ever known and named. This is our biggest challenge yet. Well then, we better get started. Ready for takeoff. And so, the Wildcrats found that their holiday plans had changed. More important than celebrating Christmas with a party or opening presents was to rescue these baby animals and reunite them with their mothers and wild families. And with Christmas fast approaching, time was of the essence. We'll have to split up into three groups to go after the three villains. Jimmy, take us straight up, out of the Earth's atmosphere to the edge of space. You got it. Space sounds pretty cool. Buckle up, everybody. Uh-oh. What? We're floating! Oh, we're in outer space! Oh, wow! Ooh. 
<laughs> Engaging artificial gravity. No! No! Ow! Whoa! The Earth looks so beautiful from up here. And down there, so many kids are getting ready for the holidays. People all around the world with their own holiday traditions. Yeah, including three villains with a tradition of stealing animals. Hey, if they're down there, why'd you tell me to fly us up to space? Here's why. The villains have split up onto three different continents capturing animals. And I've been tracking their movements. Gourmand is still in Madagascar. Zack is moving in North America. Danita has flown to South America. But the distances are so great, it'll take too long to track them down one after another in the Tortuga. Especially if we want to have a chance of having our Christmas party and opening presents before Christmas. Yeah, time is too tight. But if we're up here, the Earth will spin below us. And we can send the rescue parties out after each villain in their different location. I'll go after Gourmand in Madagascar. Africa's coming up on us now. Quick, to the garage. Whoa! New, New space pods? When, when did, did you invent, invent these? these? Oh, Koki and I have been working on them for a while. For whenever we had to split up to the corners of the Earth in a hurry. That's right! Africa's right below us! Hurry! Martin, pick a vehicle and get in the space pod. Yes! Hmm, which one? Which one? <gasps> the Cretera VX! <gasps> Ready, Martin? Ready. Space pod away! Aviva, pick your vehicles. The Earth spins at 17 miles per minute. We'll be over North and South America soon. And so, Martin was on his way, looking to stop Gourmand from taking any more of his Madagascan animal friends. Meanwhile, on the edge of the Earth's atmosphere, Aviva and Chris had chosen their vehicles, and the Americas had come into view. Space pods away! All right, they're on their way. Jimmy, let's spin around to Africa and see how Martin's doing. Like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> Gourmand. Well, well, well! Howdy, Blueberry! Well, blue is my favorite color, but the name's Martin. And you're not going anywhere with me, Spotswat, Hipster, Nubs, Thornsley, Slurpee, or anybody! <laughs> is that <Don't> so? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta rescue animal friends! How about a tree? <laughs> huh? <Whoa! laughs> Uh, your vehicle is rolling away! No! That didn't sound good. Well, neither will this. Why don't you taste some of my new cookie dough? Hey! Uh, I'm out of here with all your animal friends! <laughs> I 
I hope Chris and Aviva are having better luck than me. <laughs> Mash! Mash! Don't let him get away! Gotcha! <laughs> Give him up, Zack. I can't believe you are imitating Santa. I want Bandito, Muncher, Slider, Little Howler, and all the rest. I want all of them back. Too bad you can't reach them. Oh, yes, I can. Zack Crackers, mobilize. In formation. Up like a present. I've got your precious baby animals. Bye bye. <laughs> oh no, Grabsy, Shadow. Hey, Danita, come back here with my animal friends. So sorry, darling. We have a prior engagement. Well, fine. Go then. But leave the wild animal babies living free and in the wild. You're not looking exactly festive. How about a different shade of green? Oh. <laughs> what? Hmm. Uh-huh. And this will complete the outfit. You're a glittery green Christmas elf. I can't see! Huh? Oh. Ah! <sighs> <laughs> Ta-ta, darling. Okay, this is a humiliating defeat. The Wild Kratz rescue efforts had gone terribly wrong. The villains had won and Christmas was ruined for both the Wild Kratz and their baby animal friends. Oh, man. Talk about an epic fail. Well, the villains really beat us bad. Shockingly bad. Kind of embarrassing. And depressing. Yeah, we're talking about Thornsley, Koala Balloon, and Slider, Klingon, and Maze, and Grabsy. All in the villain's clutches. And none of the baby animals home for Christmas. But the only way these baby animals are ever going to get back to their families, living free and in the wild, is if we do something now. That's right. We've got to go and help our animal friends. Because helping others is what the Christmas spirit is all about. Yeah, you got it, bro. Those baby animals are counting on us. We're the only hope they've got. And we've got to save them all! Now, who's with us? We're in! The Christmas party and the presents would have to wait. All the Wild Kratts agreed, saving the animal babies was the most important thing. Hey guys, I think I've got something here. What? Look at this! Zack, Danita, and Gourmand are all heading to the same location. All three at the same place. Hey, maybe we can still stop them and save our animal friends. To the Creature Christmas Rescue! Buckle up, everybody. This won't be a relaxing holiday cruise. We're taking the rocket line. Varmatech Village! And this was Varmatech Village, an enormous shopping mall. Zack's cynical attempt to turn the holiday spirit to his own selfish gain and to use innocent wild babies to do so. And all the villains were in on it. Uh, a little to the left. No, the other left. Oh, help 
predictable. <gasps> Davio, the presents! Hurry, put them under the tree! Quick, they're here! What in the creature world? This is much worse than we imagined. Our baby animal friends are being made into ornaments. Hipster, dandelion, T-bone, goblin, slider, and bandito. They've captured nearly every baby animal we've come to know. Those villains can't treat our animal friends like this. This is their worst scheme ever. You don't have to tell me twice, but there is a bright side. There is? Yeah, as far as creature rescues go, look, there are a whole lot of creature powers to choose from. Oh, yeah, for a creature rescue. What are you two whispering about? Stop whispering. OK. To, to the, the creature, creature rescue! rescue! I think we need a climbing creature. Of course you do, Chris, my climbing brother. Here it is. You think you can help me out, Crabsy? I'll take care of the rescue line. Let's get you out of there. How's it going, Target? You're not a baby. Oh, I still have so much to teach the villains about animals. Activate creature powers! The very creatures you captured have the hidden powers to defeat you. Woohoo! All right, chameleon power, you're on. <gasps> Look out! Ready, Chris. Got you, Spot Swat. Get me out of here, Gold Puff. Hey, Slurpee, good to see you again. We'll get you out of here in no time, Spot Swat. Slide on, Slider. Whoa, Hipster, you're heavy. More animal friends coming in. Got you, buddy. You're okay, Stuffo. No worries, Artichoke. They're undecorating faster than you decorated. Yeah, that's the last of them. Parsley, you're really heavy. Look out! Now that's the way to pull off an epic creature rescue. And looking at the bright side, our Christmas party was interrupted, but we are hanging out with our baby animal friends from all around the world. Of course, the villains were annoyed by their own defeat, and even more so that the wild crabs were having fun with their animal friends. Suddenly, something strange and unexpected occurred. The fun and joy and laughter and the cuteness of the baby animals seemed to affect the villains. And then something began to happen. Something that seemed almost magical. Hmm. You are rather attractive. Hey, give me that! Oh, well, this little wolf is tough. I like you, little fella. Huh. Okay, fine, I admit it. Black cats are cool. The wild crats could not believe what they were seeing, could not comprehend what they were hearing. Maybe we can just take one day off from our important work to play and have fun. Yes, I think maybe we could. Say, we'll help you bring the baby animals home. Yes, we will. It's a Christmas miracle. But this is a one day only niceness. We'll take it. And there's something else. Presents. Presents? Do we open them? Mm. All together now. One, two, three, open! 
These gifts had not been in the good spirit of holiday giving. It was a trap. We knew that you would try to stop our baby animal tree. And if you did, we had a backup plan. Actually, this is exactly what I hoped would happen. But now that we gave you Christmas presents, it's time for you to give us presents in return. We're taking all the wild crap stuff. The creature power vests and gloves. Uh, the miniaturizer. Oh, no. Koki's master control <gasps> tablet. Martin's creature pod. Hey. Jimmy's controller. My controller. And the Tortuga. We have all your communication devices, remote controllers, tablets, so you can't call for help. And your creature power vests and gloves, so you can't even activate your precious creature powers to get yourself out of this one! <laughs> uh, what about the creature power discs? Ah, who cares? They're worthless without the power vests, which I have. Uh, you can keep the discs to remember how we defeated you. From now on, every time you look at one of these, you'll remember that I am better than you. <laughs> Total victories like this might actually make me like Christmas. Zack, let's put the wild crats somewhere they won't bother us for a long, long while. And so, with the sun setting, the villains dropped the wild crats on a lonely little ice floe, marooning them in the middle of the cold, dark Arctic Sea. <laughs> and now we'll just return and redecorate my shopping tree with baby animal ornaments. And best of all, you can't stop us. Bye-bye. The wild crats were helpless to rescue their animal friends. And Christmas was ruined. Oh, don't we have anything that can help get us out of this? We can't call anyone for help. Danita has all our communication devices. Zack really got us this time. All I have are reminders of the amazing creature powers I can never use again. We've got nothing. <sighs> hey, what's this? Hey, is that the present I gave you? Well, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Increíble! <laughs> open it, Martin, open it! Well, it's not really fair. I mean, nobody else has their Christmas presents to open. Open it! What's inside can get us out of here! Open, open it! it! Open, open it! it! It's a... keychain. There's not even a key on it. Or any vehicles anywhere. Uh, what good is this? Martin, remember how you're always misplacing your stuff? Like your creature power suit? Do we really have to talk about that now? Well, to help you keep tabs on it, I invented a special keychain for you. You can hang it anywhere you want. And in case you ever need to find your creature power suit, you can press this paw pad, and a little beeper will go off on your creature power vest to alert you to where it is. Okay, that's nice, but how is that going to help us? We already know where the creature power vests are. Zack, Gourmand, and Zanita have them. That's just the beginning. If they're lost far away, I installed a homing device. Push this button to activate the homing device on the vest. Hmm. Ah! But what about... Don't worry, Chris. In case either of your creature power vests ever got lost, this paw pad activates the homing device and booster rockets on yours, too. <laughs> Defective pieces of junk. <laughs> Good rips. Doesn't look like the vests are coming. Looks like we're gonna miss our Christmas party this year. 
Hey, wait! That glow! Hey! It's the creature power vests! <laughs> and gloves! It worked! Martin and Chris had been reunited with their creature power vests. But the wild crats were not off the ice floe yet. Now we just need some creatures. Good thing the Arctic seas are full of them. Orcas at 10 o'clock! <laughs> That's Martin, my swimming brother. Doesn't even care how cold the water is. Hey, Swirly! <laughs> Glad the villains didn't get around to collecting you water babies. Activate Orca Power! Woo! All right, Martin! Whoa! Oh, no! I missed the orcas! Don't worry, bro! Narwhals at 6 o'clock! Yes, Narwhals! One Orca Express coming up. Hey, Two Tusker! Activate Narwhal Power! to save Christmas with creature power. Throw me a line. Here, catch. Let's go. The wild crats were back in action, and they were going to use creature powers to save Christmas and rescue their baby animal friends. Activate <laughs> creature, creature powers. powers. Then we can get back to our Christmas party and open our presents. No can do. Yeah, not gonna happen. <laughs> no way. You stole baby animals from their wild families at Christmas. We're going to get them back home to their natural habitats. So they can all spend Christmas living free and in the wild. To the baby creature rescue! Go, Spirit Junior. Gotcha! Catch, Martin. You're free, Crunchina. We're not going to let you undecorate my shopping tree this time. Get him! They're coming. Get ready. And now... Tuga Disruptor Blast! No! Now let's finish saving our animal friends. Set them loose, Chris! Let's go, little howler. You're out of there, goblin. Time to go home, buddy. Ho oh ho! Hey, are you all comfy in there? <laughs> 
Only one left. Go to Martin, Martin. All the animals are free. They don't know about the secret of my tree. It's a giant robot. <laughs> we got to get our animal friends out of here. <laughs> Do that. Hey, tree monster, you missing any decorations? baby animals have names. And they know us. Come on, Grabsy and Shadow and Hipster and Buddy. On Klingon and Goblin and Stuffo and Spirit Junior. Hey, Muncher and Slurpee and Slider and Pokey. And Blue Goggle Spot Swat, Little Howler and Nubs. Huh? What? <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's a baby animal stampede. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I love it! Oh, the villains are being overwhelmed by creature cuteness. Now that's my kind of creature power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one, animal friends. Who needs Christmas anyway? Not me. Me neither. Hey, let's get going. Who wants to spend Christmas Day in a mall, anyway? Yeah, and we still have time to get all our baby animals home. Living free and in the wild. <laughs> and then, Martin and Chris had the idea that Christmas would just be a little different this year. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, bro? I think we're thinking the same thing. They would celebrate this holiday in the Tortuga flying high above the earth with all their baby animal friends. It's a wild cat Christmas where the fun never ends. It's a party with all our baby animal friends. It's a wild cat Christmas. Hey, we still have to open our presents. <gasps> wow, a new radar chair. Uh-huh, with turbo boosters and an automated headset. What is it? A hovering remote control holder. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> it follows me. And now for the biggest present. Remember how you are always bugging me about a certain invention? A coupon for a fully repaired and better than ever time trampoline. Yeah! Woohoo! Thank you! Woo Oh, whoa! Oh, and here, Viva, we got you a little something. For someone who makes the best technology in the creature world! <gasps> World's greatest scientist! Thanks, guys! Merry, Merry Creature, creature Christmas! Christmas! Twas a wild crat creature Christmas. Oh, yeah, Christmas creatures. There's more than just reindeer. Yeah, there are a lot of other creatures that are part of the holiday spirit and a special part of the winter landscape. Like a snowshoe hare. 
Whoa, look at that hair run. Yeah, rabbits and hares are great for Christmas too. Now here's a creature that definitely should be part of the holiday season, the muskox. These animals live from the Arctic Circle to the North Pole. They should be involved in all the Christmas special action. They look so Christmassy with that shaggy fur. They're great. Elk are a great Christmas creature too. Look at those beautiful antlers. They're huge. Elk have some of the most beautiful antlers of any member of the deer family. They'll carry them until about January, and then they'll drop off and start growing again. Wow, what a creature. Have you ever heard of a tiger that lives in the snow? <gasps> well, a tiger like that exists. It's called the Siberian tiger, and there's one right over there. Oh, a black and orange wildcat running around in the snow. Oh, wow. And what's better than a tiger in the snow? How about four? Siberian tigers live in Russia and Eastern Asia and are very well adapted for living in the snow. This cat is a cool part of any creature Christmas. And what about other Christmas creatures, like the snowy owl or polar bear? A lynx, red cardinals, bison, otters, chickadee. Have a very creaturey Christmas. We'll see you on the Creature Trail. Keep on creature adventuring. more about cool animals and collect your own Wild Kratts creature powers, go to the Wild Kratts website at pbskids.org. We'll, we'll see, see you there. there. Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also, subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime Video Channel.